is common, winter weather risk you need to be prepared for is a vehicle accident. Whether you are operating a commercial vehicle or just commuting to and from work every day, you're always at risk for an accident. That risk is multiplied greatly when winter weather conditions are present. The first tip is to make sure you check the weather conditions before you leave. It might sound super simple, but for those of us that drive great distances, we should always know what to expect while traveling. The second tip is to make sure your vehicle is ready. Do you have plenty of windshield washer fluid? Are your wiper blades in good shape? How is your tire pressure? Do you have an ice scraper and de-icer in your vehicle? And have you checked your emergency kit to make sure that it is still stocked? We have all seen the vehicles driving with snow blowing off their vehicle onto yours. Don't be that person. Make sure you have full visibility and can be seen while driving. Clear your vehicle, including the tailpipe of snow. Make sure your headlights, turn signals, and brake lights are clear of snow or ice. And if you are driving a pickup truck or rear wheel drive vehicle, remember to put additional weight over the rear tires. The number one cause for winter weather accident is driving too fast. So the safety tip is super simple. Slow down and always remember that the posted speed limits are for ideal driving conditions, not ice and snow. Remember to brake gradually and to give yourself enough time to brake. Increase your following distance 10 times the normal distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of you. If your vehicle does start to skid or slide, take your foot off the gas and slowly turn the wheel in the direction you want the vehicle to travel. One of the most important and often forgotten winter driving tips is to watch for tire spray. A good way to assess the road condition is to observe the water coming off the tires around you. If there is a lot of water being sprayed, the road is definitely wet. If the tire spray is relatively less, it means that the roadway has started to freeze and we should use extra caution. Remember that visibility is compromised during a snowstorm or even rainy conditions. Make sure you look twice before proceeding through an intersection or changing lanes. If you are not sure it is safe to drive, don't drive. If you are driving and weather conditions are too severe to drive, find a safe way to get off the roadway, contact your supervisor, and stay in the safe place until the weather conditions improve. The second biggest winter weather risk is hypothermia. Anyone can catch hypothermia and it can be deadly. Hypothermia is no laughing matter. It's a medical emergency that occurs when your body loses heat faster than it can produce it. Most people get hypothermia from exposure to cold winter temperatures or water. You should call 911 if you think you or anyone else is experiencing hypothermia. Here are the symptoms of hypothermia you should know. So how do you protect yourself and others from hypothermia? It's all about staying warm and keeping your body temperature normal. To do that, you need to wear the right clothing, including hats and gloves, to keep your body heat from escaping. We encourage our team members that travel to keep an extra set of clothing in their vehicle and to change clothing if it becomes wet. 
third on our list of the biggest winter weather risks is frostbite. Frostbite happens when your skin literally freezes. It is most common in body parts like fingers, toes, ears, nose, and the face. Frostbite can cause permanent damage to the affected areas, so it is critical to prevent it and to get medical help immediately if you suspect you have it. Here are the warning signs. To prevent frostbite include limiting time outdoors and taking frequent breaks if you do work outside, dress appropriately and change clothing if it becomes wet, consider wearing hand and or foot warmers, eat well-balanced meals and stay hydrated, and keep moving to keep your blood flowing while in cold weather. The CDC reports that most accidental carbon monoxide poisonings happen in January, with the second most happening in December. But why, you ask? Carbon monoxide can escape from poorly working or unfiltered furnaces. You can also be exposed to this dangerous gas from gasoline-powered tools like portable generators. Have a qualified technician check your heating systems water heaters, and other gas, oil, or coal burning appliances. Install battery operated carbon monoxide detectors in homes and change the batteries when you change the clocks for daylight savings time. Seek medical attention if you suspect carbon monoxide poisoning is the cause of your dizziness or nausea. Never use generators, camp stoves, charcoal grills, or any other gas or oil burning device inside your home. Never run a motor vehicle inside the garage, even if the garage door is open. Don't burn anything in the fireplace or stove that is not vented to the outside. And never heat your house with a gas oven. Another risk is heart attacks. Winter weather makes it snow, and shoveling snow can lead to higher blood pressure and poor blood flow to your heart. This can put you at risk for heart attacks and strokes. Always remember to warm up your muscles before shoveling snow. Shovel light loads, take frequent breaks, and stay hydrated. A time when the conditions are likely to be slippery. Make sure you have a slip resistant doormat by all entrances and always wear proper footwear. Anticipate hazards as you are walking and take shorter steps versus long strides. Although we may take all precautions to prevent a fall, sometimes we fall. You can minimize damage from a fall by tucking your chin in, turning your head, and throwing an arm up. It's better to land on your arm than on your head. Stay loose. Avoid tensing up. Sounds easy, right? Don't try to break the fall with your hands or elbows.